Hello everyone, this is Roseanne Medelpine and I'm going to share with you one of the skills in query giving NC2 assessment. And one of those is the unoccupied bed making. So first we have to perform hand washing and also we have to secure the privacy of the room. And we will going to proceed to the procedure and we will put away the old pillow uh, on the bed and also put away the dirty sheets and place it on the laundry basket There you go. So let's proceed. Um, we have also reminders. So we will uh, going to fold the new bottom sheet, the new rubber sheet, the new draw sheet, and we are also going to ready or prepare the new pillowcase and also the new top sheet. So this green. This green blanket is called the bottom sheet. So, um, the bottom sheet fold, you have to fold, fold it two times lengthwise. So that's it. And plus, we will going to fold it, meet in the center. So that's it. Okay, the next fold is the rubber sheet. So we have to fold the rubber sheet neat at the center. And then you have to fold it again, lengthwise and crosswise. So next is the draw sheet. The folding of the draw sheet, as you can see, is fold two times lengthwise plus fold plus fold in the center. And then we also have to ready uh, the new pillowcase. And then lastly, we have to fold the new top sheet. So the fold of, the foldings of the top sheet is fold two times lengthwise and one at the um one meet in the center. So we have to fold it uh to meet in the center. So Two times lengthwise again, as you can see. 
and then fold meat in the center. And important reminders as you fold all the sheets, make sure that the right side is on the top, um, is on the inner and the bad or wrong side of the cloth uh, is in the outer. And also important reminder uh, that the double edge must be on the top facing upward. So now we have to place the new sheets in a reverse manner and set aside. And now we were going to uh, lay over the new bottom sheet on the bed. Okay, so again, important, important reminders, we have to uh, we have to uh, make sure that the double edge must be on the top facing upwards as you fold the bottom sheet. So that's it. Okay, so for making the new bottom sheet on the bed, you will have to make a triangle uh, for the corners of the bed. So um, also the, the excess part of the bottom sheet uh, must be must be on the head side. Okay, so now we make a triangular uh, fold on the corners of the bed. So that's it. So we, we have to make sure also that the bottom sheet is really fitted uh, on the bed. So next is the rubber mat. We have to lay over the rubber mat on the bed. So make sure the dub, um, make sure again that the double edge is on the top facing upwards and lay over at the center of the bed. And that's it. There you go. And then uh, the next is the draw sheet. So lay over the draw sheet. Again, make sure that the double edge is on the top facing upwards as you lay and um as you lay over the draw sheet on the bed. So that's it. Okay, next is the pillowcase. So we have to ready the pillowcase. And important reminders, please be neat and careful to wear it on the pillow. Avoid touching the pillowcase except on, uh, mm, on the middle part. So don't touch the pillow, just hold the upper center part. So we have to do a minimal contact. And the zipper is on the farther side away from the door. So that's it. So that's it. So we have to all uh we have to ready the top sheet. And make sure also that the double edge 
As you lay over, the double edge is on the top facing upward. That's really important to, uh, to balance the size of the, of the sheet in the bed, on the bed. That's it. And additional information, the purpose and use of the sheet. So the bottom sheet is used to protect, to protect the mattress. So the rubber sheet is used to protect the bottom sheet. And the draw sheet is purpose is to assist the back part of the patient when, uh, when transferring. The top sheet, um, the purpose of the top sheet is to protect the patient. Pillowcase is to protect the pillow and serve as a laundry basket. And the pillow is to provide comfort. So that is bed making unoccupied. So thank you for listening and I hope you learned from this. So thank you and God bless us all.